All right, so let's go ahead and get started with 2.4. It's a continuation of 2.3, just a little bit modified. So there's no force this time at node three and node five is fixed with a displacement. So we know the displacement's known, it's just that it's not given. So we gotta do the problem in terms of the variable. But let's go ahead and get started on this one. All right, so this problem is pretty much just asking to do the problem 2.3, the one I just did, but with no force and this node right here kind of moved this delta distance and it's fixed now. So we could kind of go ahead and go straight to the the whole, um, the big equation. I don't even know the original name. Um, F1x, F2x, F3x, we got f4x and yes f5x so it's these five um that is equal to kx right the matrix is from problem problem 2.3 so if you need help getting this just watch the other video i'm just copying and pasting zero 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 then we got negative k 2k negative k zero zero we got zero negative k 2k negative k zero uh where am i zero zero negative k 2k negative k finally we got zero 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 we got negative k and k so again this is probably at the three minute mark of problem 2.3 so if you want to go ahead and see how we got this but i'll just skip that for now and then u1 u2 u3 u4 and u5 Cool, so that's that, right? So let's go ahead and start doing the boundary conditions. U5 is now fixed, U1 is fixed, so that means these two are zero. Okay, so this is zero and zero. What else? Force two, three, and four. There is no force, again, P equals zero. So that means these right here are zero. Not the best eraser, but there we go. Zero, zero, and zero. And again, seems like we're doing something right, right? We have F5, but we don't know the displacement F5. We know the three forces here, but we don't know the three, four, three displacements here. And then same thing. We don't know the force at one, but we know the displacement at one. So that means the setup's correct. Um. Oh, I'm sorry, this did not move zero. It's fixed, yes, technically, but it moved the delta distance. And here it's unknown, right? They don't give us the number, but technically it's known. Cause, I mean, we should know that, right? But, so I don't know if that makes sense. This is known, but in this case, they don't give a number for it. So step two, uh, let's go ahead and start doing the equations, right? So F1x, that is equal to k times zero minus ku2, zero, zero, zero. So that means that's it. So for the force two x, zero is equal to negative k times zero, two k u2 minus ku3, zero, zero. Next one, zero is equal to zero times zero minus k times u2 k times u2 plus 2k u3 minus k u4 then times zero the fourth one right here zero is equal to zero times zero zero negative k u3 okay 2k u4 plus 2k u4 plus k delta 
Cool. So we got, oh, no, 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 my bad. Hold on. Minus KU3, 2KU4, minus K delta. Okay, minus K delta. Then next one, last one, 5X is equal to negative KU4, right? Because 0, 0, 0, we go to this one, negative KU4 plus K delta. Cool. Five equations, five unknowns. Let's go ahead and label these equations. Uh, this is equation one, two, three, four, five. All right, so step three. Let's see what we could do. Um, similar to problem three, 2.3. Um, I moved KU3 here, and then I could do the same thing here, and then I could set this term equal to this term. So you'll see what I mean. Equation two, and you know what? Let's just stick with two, just for now. Maybe it's a little too much. From equation two, we could see that 2KU2 will equal KU3, right? So that means the k's cancel out. That means 2u2 is equal to u3. So that's a relationship we could do. What's well, good to know. And then we also know u2 is equal to u3 over 2. So let's see which one's easiest. I don't know which way I'm going to go. It's just good to know these relationships, right? Um, Let's see. Now let's go to, let's go ahead and go with equation three up next. See what we could do there. Um, the goal is, I'll tell you what our goal is. I just saw it right now. So we'll get everything in terms of U2. So in this case, we already found U3 is equal to AU2. In this case, 2U2, right? And then we'll find U4 is equal to something in terms of U2. Then we'll plug it here. We kind of just mess with it. That's kind of the whole point of this. Until you get some numbers without use on either side. I mean, on just one side. Um, equation three. Let's go ahead and do zero is equal to negative KU2. We'll keep it that way. Um, plus 2KU3. But we already know from here that... KU3 is equal to 2KU2. So I'll plug that in. 2KU2. You see? You just kind of just mess with it until you see some relationships. Minus KU4. Cool. So that is 0 is equal to... This is 4KU2. And this is negative 1KU2. So that's going to be 3KU2. Minus KU4. Move it over to one side, we get KU4 is equal to 3KU2. K's cancel out, so that means U4 is equal to uh, 3U2. K's canceled out. So that's another relationship. So we got U3 in terms of U2, now we got U4 in terms of U2. So we could actually solve for U2 by going here to the fourth equation. So let's see, five. Equation four, that's gonna be zero is equal to negative k times u3. u3 is two u2. Okay, plus two k u4. u4 is three u2. minus k delta so we have one u and technically we should know k's and we should know the delta so we're good we could solve for u2 so zero is equal to negative 2k u2 plus 6k u2 minus k delta zero is equal to 4k u2 minus k delta 4k u2 is equal to 
K delta. That means U2 is equal to delta over 4. Boom. You found one. Now, once you find one, finding the first one's the hardest. Now, finding the next ones, step six, it's pretty easy. Just plug in U2 to any of these little ones. So, let's do the first one, U3. So, U3 is equal to, to U2, right? Two, but U2, we know, is delta over four. So, that means U3 is equal to delta over two. All right, step seven, trying to make space for the forces. Now, use this one, U4 is equal to three U2. U2 is delta over four. That means U4 is equal to three delta over four. Nothing canceled out there. It's kind of just squishing them together. Um, let's see, cool, we're good. Uh, let's go step eight, we got all the U's. So now we find the forces. Force one is equal to negative KU2, right? So force one X is equal to negative K times U2. U2 is delta over four. Delta over four, that means F1X is equal to negative K delta over four, okay? So negative one fourth delta. All right, finally the last one, F5X is equal to negative KU4, negative K, U4, we just found, is 3 delta over 4 plus K delta. Okay, so let's simplify this a bit more. F5X is equal to negative 3 over 4 K delta. Plus, now I'm going to go to do a denom uh, denominators like, to, uh, you know what I mean, right? Put it over 4 just to combine the two. Uh, 4 over 4 K delta, right? That's all it is. So that means F5X is equal to 1 fourth K delta. K delta over 4. There we go. And that kind of makes sense, right? So if you have, um, there's no force at these three nodes. There's only one here and one here. That means they have to be equal and opposite. In this case, they are. K delta over four, negative K delta over four. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, you really can't verify this other than seeing this relationship here. The deltas. Mm, nope, not really, but you know what? That's the answer. So that's the top part in case you couldn't see, and then this is the bottom part.